Cheers! Welcome to Movie Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 4, Episode 7! <laughs> Are we at the halfway point? We're past! We're past the halfway yeah, point! Yeah, because the queens came back, they had their right. lipstick, lipstick extravaganza. Yeah, I like that! I mean, it was a lip sync, but also there's been a lot of lipsticks. I'd be here for like a mid lip sync lipstick change. Yes. Uh, Milan tried to do that with the, but it was it was like a no. I'm trouble out. I'm trouble. <sighs> <sighs> but I'd be here for like a, a lipstick reveal of like sure. you thought my lips were red, they're neon or something, you know, and then yeah. just be like, yeah, let's look at this lip sync. That'd be good. You know what'd be really fun? Mm -hmm. A glow in the dark lip sync. Oh my god, I love it. I. Love it. And it's like black light and you guys can decide what you want to do. How much you want to glow and you get those lips glow in the dark. I love that. Love it. That'd be so cool. First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Trywink.com slash Movie Beaches. Movie Beaches. Movie Beaches. But yeah, $22 off. <laughs> Just a mess today. What is happening? $22 off your first, first month of wine. wine. We sound like that, that SNL sketch where it was like all the, was it the Norwegians trying to sound American or something? Yeah. My son is innocent of this. <laughs> Can't you give us a break, man? It's hard to imagine that these actors are from Oslo and have never once been to America. The body was found. <laughs> the bottom of the lake. You know, it was like really like weird. This episode. So yes. the queens all come back. Yes. They were like, yes, bitch, Monique and Latrice, you guys. Yeah, they both get to stay. Yeah, and you like, worked it out. They simultaneously are like, yes, bitch, we slayed it. But also secretly, I hate you. Exactly. <laughs> and they're both like, oh. <laughs> I guess she got her redemption moment. Cute. Valentina is feeling a certain way. It just sending me home just like doesn't make sense with my, my fantasy. fantasy. <laughs> sending me home doesn't make sense with my fantasy. Ah! Lots of talk of her fantasy this episode. Didn't mind it. Her French vanilla fantasy. Too many French vanilla fantasies. Valentina was imploding this episode. Yeah. We, but like not in a sad way, like like last time. Like, sure. Oh, oh my I, god. Like right. I like um, That's stopped true. functioning. Yes. But just like she like her coping mechanisms made me laugh. Like, well, I'll dress up in like a slutty painter's outfit because that's my coping mechanism because I'm overwhelmed. Or like yes. I'll keep talking about my coffee because I am freaking out about this challenge, but I can't express it. Exactly. <gasps> Oh my god, let me take a sip of my French Vanilla Fantasy. Because, bitch, I just felt the fantasy. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. She seemed like she was having a lot of fun. She's like, oh! I'll go silly. out with a bang. Silly with it. You know, yeah. like, I don't know what to do, so I'm just gonna be silly and have fun. And, yeah. like, it sucked for Naomi. Right. That she had to then pick up the slack. Yes. Because it, it just reminded me of, like, a high school project where you're like, okay, you're the goofy one who, like, isn't gonna actually do any work, but it's gonna be real fun doing it with you. Right, exactly. But also I need an A, so um, we need to... We want them to stay damn these bitches campaign, not just the mud. And Rue comes in in her paisley pink suit, pretty fabulous. Yeah. And she starts talking about when I was discovered. I was discovered by club impresario Suzanne Barsh. She's fucking fabulous. Fabulous. By the way. Club promoter, you yeah. know, possible Thunderdome participant <laughs> extraordinaire. Yeah. Loved her. Loved her. Like, where has she yeah. been all my life? Can we life? bring her back And often. All, all ten seasons. Where has she been? Yeah. She seems great. Yeah. Which ties into the Mackie Challenge, which is create your own nightclub event. Yeah. You know, you have to name it and come up with a theme and decorate it and... Like, you have to host um, and host make host events. And a game and, and yeah. a signature cocktail and, like, all this stuff. I really like this challenge. I loved this that was challenge. Great. Yeah, it's like Restaurant Week on Top Chef, which right. is always um, typically everyone's favorite. Yeah. And this is kind of like that for drag queens. I loved this because it yeah. was exactly it tested all of these different skills that they yeah. have to have. Creativity, in, yep. improv, you know, looks, uh, design, all charisma, of it. charisma, working an audience, yeah. it's all of these different things. I just wish they had more people there. I mean, yeah, they gave them like a cubicle to decorate. But... And beyond the cubicle, it was just like if there had been like actual people. It's probably fire code. Maybe. It was really small in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I know what I would have done I'm, for my I just fun. thought of what oh. I would have done. Oh, really? Like, just now. Should we say it at the same time? It's not going to be the same thing. <laughs> I mean, it might be the same thing. Classic watering Hollywood. hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, call it the watering hole and have sexy firemen. Oh, I love that. Or you could do like the watering hole and have it be like safari themed. Firefighters are sexier. <laughs> Firefighters and you know, you can like 10% of our profits go to Firefighters. Firefighting and all of that and you can make a calendar. Yeah. And have sexy guys as and, and ladies as firefighters. Yeah. And you know, make lots of hose jokes. <laughs> It'd be yes. great. I and, love it. And it's getting hot in here. We're on fire jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god though, that seems a little I don't know, joking about fire and clubs makes me really nervous. Sorry, I mean, they did have the bees attack them in this episode, Well, sh so sure. It would be fake fire. Well, right, right, right. It just still makes me nervous. A club that I went to in Berlin has this um, dragon on the mm. wall mm. that every now and then just shoots fire out of its mouth. Oh, boy. And I was like, where are the exits? But I was like, I went to see Kiss. There was a lot of pyrotechnics, and I loved it, but I was a little bit scared. Yeah, it's just like, it's like, oh, this is so cool. Where do I leave? You know? Just to make sure. Yeah, exactly. Just in case. Yeah, it freaks me out. Yeah. It freaks me out. Yeah, okay. Well, so, you know, mm -hmm. but, I'll so, keep the fire jokes to a minimum, except I won't. Okay. Because I put them out with their hoses. Oh my god, good. So yours was classic Hollywood? Yeah, I would do like golden age of Hollywood, you mm -hmm. know, and just do lots of like, um, have you ever been to the library bar? No. At the Sunset Tower Hotel? Sounds great. It's lovely. It's mm -hmm. like kind of kept in that same, right. you know. Hollywood Tower. Or do sort of like a speakeasy kind of... Ooh, sure. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots, Lots of like times champagne coops and absinthe yeah. and, yeah. you know, very Gatsby-esque. Yeah, that'd be fun. I think I always like that, you know, vibe. So, yes, they have to bring up into teams. Mm -hmm. Latrice gets to pick. Uh, right. Because... Yes. She... Because she came won back. Won first? Or she came back, sure. Yeah. Because it was sort of interesting, her, her pairings. Yeah! Well, she puts Monique and Monet together, yeah. which seems like a match made in heaven. Like, uh, it seems like, well, you just gave that to them yeah. to succeed. Yes. You know, they really get along. Exactly. Puts Trinity with Manila, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh! Obviously, you know, didn't realize at the very moment she was going to then put herself with that team. I mean, I knew that she would put herself with Manila. Yeah. So then I was like, that's interesting. I thought she would have picked, like... I thought if she had done like Naomi, Manila, and her would have been a great pairing. Yeah, although Trinity was a great pairing oh, too. Oh, Trinity was fabulous. And I think what she did was she went for experience. Yes. Trinity, Manila, and Latrice are all the most experienced. And so it's like if you're going to do a club, it makes sense. Okay. And then and Valentina and Naomi, perhaps it was setting them up to fail because they had the least experience. As like, Maybe, yeah. I mean, I guess they kind of go together like they're both modelly and, and fashion-y you know, and, fashion yeah. and whatever. But it was just sort of interesting. Yeah. Oh my god, so yeah, so Valentina and Naomi are trying to decide oh god, to what their club should be. Okay. <laughs> What's the sexiest number? 69? Uh, 69. 69. Cue the rolling eyes. Cue the eye rolls. I mean, not wrong. No, it would have been terrible. Yeah. Unless you went like full Austin Powers. Oh, like, I love it. Sex club Studio fantasy. 69, baby, yeah! Which is even weirder because Mike Myers was in Studio 54, the horrible movie version. He played, insert, the guy who started Studio 54's name here that oh. we definitely watched a documentary about and he was yeah. gay and yeah, had bad name? hair. Steve. That sounds right. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Whatever. Well, we really went on a tangent there. Yeah. Uh, but they decide on, oh, well, what's the opposite of 69? 96. Because they're oh. facing away because they're too bougie. I was like, what are you guys talking about? It was it was a lot. It was like it was like oh gosh, I think you went a little too far down the rabbit hole. <laughs> but they made it work mostly because of Naomi. Yeah, Club ninety six. Ninety six. Yeah. Club ninety six. Club ninety six. So then they're like, oh, let's make it the nineties and let's do like supermodel fashion. This was a very flawed concept. <laughs> Well researched. Oh, absolutely. Because Naomi knows her shit about uh, fashion. Uh, but yeah, no. Isaac Mithrahi before, before bankruptcy. The... <laughs> Love it. Before the foreclosure. Yeah, exactly. It's like, uh huh. <laughs> Isaac Mithrahi before foreclosure. Club 96. 
Love it. Love it. <laughs> I, I cracked up. The problem with this concept is that uh, no one wants to go to a club where the hosts want you to leave. We've been hosting the party gig now for three hours and we're over it. And I'm like, you, you didn't really think this one out. Well, I mean, I, and I don't think they completely failed. No, they didn't. Right? It wasn't a disaster. No. It just wasn't as good as the other two. It was not set up to succeed. And then Monique and Monet come up with the black hole. Oh, yes. Um, this was really silly. They seem to just kind of be like, yes, girl, let's do it. Let's ideas, be ideas. Weird and wacky. We can have slime. We can make it. <laughs> Love Wait, it. How are we going to get slime? We can make, make it, girl. It. Yeah. Slime? Where are we get this slime from? We can make it. There was a. a a severe lack of glory holes, I felt. Glory holes? <laughs> there was no black hole in was, the black hole? There was no black hole. I think they should have covered the baby incubator alien in, like, in black paint and then be like, you gotta stick your hand in there, mm. like haunted house style. Yeah. And then, you know, open it up. Oh, it's an alien baby! Like the art piece and the Velvet other, bus buzzsaw. Off. Yeah, like stick <laughs> like, your hand. What's, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Fly Tony Collin in. <laughs> Yes. Now, Tony Collette is a yes judge. Yes. <gasps> yes. Yes. There definitely should have been a black hole. Yeah, love it. And you just stick it sticks into the other club. <laughs> they cut a hole in your <laughs> You're like uh... feeling around for <laughs> Rita Ora? <gasps> <laughs> and then uh, Latrice and Manila and Trinity decide they're gonna do well, I thought they were gonna call it the beehive, but then it turns out it was just the hive. Oh. I like the beehive better. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah, basically I was a little- The hive reminds me of like, oh no, I have to take some Benadryl. Ooh, sure. <laughs> or like the hive makes it seem hostile. Yeah. Whereas like the beehive makes like, it oh, seem like- Like, oh, let's go. Yeah, ooh, we're just gonna- Buzz be around a beehive. beehive. Mm. Yeah, it's like somehow friendlier. Yeah. I was a little nervous actually about this one at first oh, because- really? Do you guys have any ideas? Well, I brought a costume that's yellow and black. I have a yellow and black dress. <laughs> and I saw that you have a yellow and black dress. So we could do like- Bees. Yeah, it was a little. Like, eh. It was like, oh, I don't think you should plan your idea off of like an outfit that you have. You know, it's like, oh, we should all do '80s because we had '80s looks. And it's like, but. Mm. But then they made. It but work. they made it work. Yeah, because they're creative, fabulous kind of. I mean, I love, I love when they have to be creative and we see yeah. the process and yes. we see them going through it, yes. like struggling and what are we gonna do and and how do we, so they have to paint their cubicles. Yeah, Valentina. Oh my God, Valentina. In this outfit. In this, you know, it wasn't quite a jock strap. It was like a no, un underwear. They were briefs, but they were like... But they were like ladies briefs. Right? They were li like cut high. Yeah. They were ladies briefs. Little do y'all know, she asked me if I wanted to wear the same outfit, and I was like, girl, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, and her on top of her shoulders. It was just very like, what's going on here, guys? What are you doing? Yeah, I mean, it was... I loved it because it was I had not. A great time, yeah, but... the, they seemed. It was like very silly. It was like this isn't very professional, <laughs> but um, I don't care. It doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't bother me. Skin off either. Exactly. Right. Exactly. I'm having fun with it. And then it was funny. Like I mean, everyone seemed to be having a pretty good time. Like yeah. Monique and Monet. Which way do you paint? Up or down? Uh -huh. or left or right? I've seen people do it left or right. That's not the right way. Who said? Jesus. And then um, of course, like so, Manila talks about how she did, was in graphic design and all these things, so she's setting up all these hexagons. Yes. And... I wonder if she was inspired by the wall behind the judges. Because it's maybe. the same kind of hexagon. I mean, they're smaller. Yeah. Obviously, that's also a beehive. Like, honeycomb. Yes. So... I mean, Valentina's is just like, oh my god, my manicure! Does paint come oh off? Paint on my face? Oh my god! Does paint come off skin? And Naomi in the confessional. Does paint come off of skin? Bye. Fuck! It's <laughs> great. Naomi was taking it in stride. Absolutely. And I appreciate that. Yep, she's like, you know what? We're just gonna make it work. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best and do all We're I can. We're gonna have a make it work moment. I wanna know where they got the props. Everyone's like, so like, Monet and Monique are like, oh yeah, girl, here's this incubator that we send in a requisition form for? I, I, like, how did you, that's not something that's lying around. I mean, maybe they did, maybe they said, like, you can request, like, three big ticket items or something. Right. And, and we'll the get P, them. the PAs will go. Find them in. Find them in some prop house. Yeah. I love, I love that. I mean, it seems like it. It was like, oh, that. we need some sort of disco ball panther or something. I mean, that I could see just, like, being around. Being around. Oh, that was, like, the, like, the set. yeah, the prop area where they right. just, like, eh, like, yeah. No, that makes sense. But, but an incubator. Incubator, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> So they're all sort of getting ready, they're back in the workroom, and Naomi and Valentina essentially like throw each other under, uh, under the bus 
in the workroom before they've even be, been judged. Like, they seem doomed. Oh, yes. But it's not even mean-spirited or No, like, it's just kind of like, well, I've just been doing all the work. <laughs> and then Valentine's like, yeah, girl, but, you know, I'm me. Everything? Get it? Mm -hmm. Get your character down. Yeah. <laughs> and this is my fantasy. Like, it's just like, what? So quick commercial break, and we will be back with Drag Queens After Dark. And a runway, and a lip sync, and a lot, so stay tuned. <laughs> so this was really fun. I kind of want this show to exist. Right? Like, I think that this would be a fabulous, like, spinoff. Drag Queens After Dark. Yeah. Make it a show. Yeah. I, wanna see, I would watch it. I would absolutely watch it. It's like MTV Cribs, but with drag queens and clubs. First stop is at the black hole. And... You know what I liked about it? What? They didn't ever really make any innuendos. They didn't. It was There just, was like one... It was just kooky. Where there was like the Uranus thing, which is like I saw last week at the black hole. We have Pluto and we have Uranus. I thought it was yours. No, yours, bitch. Okay, well I saw yours last week. <laughs> at the black hole, girl. But that was it. I liked that. Sure. It was right, because it was, it was so obviously right there that yeah. they were like, we don't even have to touch it. It's already there. I still would have enjoyed Watching, you know, Rita Ora stick her hand through a black hole. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Pull out like a cucumber or something. Carson would have really played it up. Wow! Yeah. Oh. Oh, there is feeling around this black hole. I love Monique's look. Oh, I loved it. She's got this like Missy Elliott like yellow tracksuit on with like these tentacled fingers, like Sharon just Sharon needles. needles. I was just like really into it. The loved whole it. thing, the purple hair, the, yep. all of it. I was obsessed with it. And then Monet, it almost looked like um, Trinity's zip tie dress, but it wasn't that color. Sure. It was kind of spiky. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked it. I just liked Monique's a lot more. Yeah, Monique's was a lot better in the black light. Mm, yeah. It really popped. Yes, yes. Yeah. I thought they yeah. were the most fun. They had the most fun with each other. Yes. I was like, I want to go to this club. And then their drink was called the Beam Me Up, and oh, their yeah, bartender was Scotty. Was Scotty. And Love I was it. Like, this is... So silly. Yeah. So this is our hot bartender, Scotty. Yes. He has curated two fabulous drinks fabulous. called... Feed me up! Can't do it, Captain. I don't have the power! <laughs> I just can't do it, Captain. I do it have the power! So then next was... Club 96. Club 96. <laughs> Club 96. So silly. I love that Rita Ora did it later. <laughs> That was their most successful thing. I loved it. It's the most memorable thing of all three clubs. That's true. Club 96. But that was kind of it. I mean, the club looked fine. I mean, the club looked like the interior illusion club. It really did. It was like, oh, you relax in the silver bar while you know the rest of the queens go on to the gold bar. Which is, you know. Not great. Not great. They're both sort of wearing different chainmail dresses. Like Naomi's right. like a clear plasticky kind of you know chain together dress and Valentina's is like a rosette yeah a it's like of... a Fibonacci you know it's also mathematical <laughs> right they're not just a work of art they're a mathematical equation they had a lot of things that they said yes and there wasn't a lack of content but just wasn't that funny or fun or, or they weren't having a ton of fun together or, again you know? that the concept of the idea of like oh we're these like snooty fashionistas is not an enjoyable thing for us. Right. It's like, oh, we're gonna be the bitchy girls in high school who think they're better than everyone. Well, that's not really what you want in like a host. Exactly, you know? of a club. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, Carson put it well when he was like, it's like an SNL skit. Yeah. And it really did feel like that, which would have been hilarious if these were like the two socialites. I like that idea, just not for this challenge. Sure. I still enjoy it. Club 96. Club 97. In the black hole, the bartenders are like in speedos and bow ties yes. and high heels. Yes. And at Club 96, <laughs> um, they're all in like turtleneck long sleeves. I love the edit of Carson just being like, so bored. Just yeah. Like, whatever. <laughs> Trying to drink out of this stupid tall glass. Mm -hmm. Everyone's in turtlenecks. Oh my god. They're all covered up. It was very Zoolander esque. It was. The bartenders were just. <laughs> Oh, that Hansel, he's just so hot right he's now. He's so hot right now. Hansel. <laughs> so. And I did love that no one could drink out of those. Like, all of them were like, ah, oh my god, this is too much. Yeah. It's like, it's really hard. Ah. Maybe left. Yeah. Like, where'd they get those glasses? Like, they must have requested they write an different invoice, types of... Like, we need re the tallest <laughs> glass. I... Or they... they and maybe... also, we need exceedingly long straws. straws. 
Maybe there were different options. How did they find those in California? Straws. <laughs> How'd they do it? Oh, and then they had the whole thing with like the M and M, which was lackluster. What? I think that was what the drink. The drink was called like an absurd writer. Oh, something delicious. Yeah. I don't. Well, it was just Valentina, right? Because earlier Naomi was talking about oh, she loves her French vanilla fancy and her red M and Ms, and like the, and it was like she basically listed Valentina's writer. Right. It's also, there was like a glass bead, but okay. But also, if it's the nineties, then make it you know acid or something. <laughs> Make it, you know. Was that a big thing in the 90s, acid? Well, make it ecstasy then. Sure. Make it, you oh, know. Oh boy. Just a if little, you're, I mean, if you you're know what? For it's it. true. It's true. Why you not? Know. Like, if you're making this fantasy nonsense club, like, right. really, especially if it's the 90s and it's models and whatever, there should be cocaine everywhere. Cocaine and ecstasy. I guess they probably couldn't do that for a multitude of reasons, but. Why? I mean, I agree. I mean, you don't have to literally like be like, I'm snorting it on camera, but like, you know, to just be like, oh, we're living our full fantasy in ecstasy. Yes. Mm, something. Yes. Have a glass of ecstasy with a little touch of magic powder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then it's just like one of those candy sticks. That yeah. <laughs> it's Raven's Revenge or something. Pixie sticks. Yeah. Yeah, give me some pixie sticks. And some fucking club kids with like some glow in the dark, you know, yes. juggling balls. Oh my god, and, like, yes. How did he get in here? <laughs> Who let him in? You know, something silly. It wasn't the funny 90s that I remember. It was like the 90s that you're like, oh yeah, that was a bummer. Yeah, exactly. Like, you it know, was... heroin chic was a bummer, mm. guys. And so then their thing was, um, the, to walk the, work the garment. Work the garment. Fashion roadkill. Oh, yeah. right, and they tried to have like... Bad. It was like, oh, Ferris. Here's Ferris boa. leftover boa and, and like, a fish purse. It clearly wasn't actually like Ferris. Like, I mean, maybe it was, <laughs> but I, mean, I don't know. Like, I it would have been funny if it was like actually a look we remembered. Yes, that was bad. That was bad. That if it was the thing that she slipped on. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> she, then she was fashion roadkill. <laughs> Uh, so then last was the hive. I do think it should have been the beehive. Right? Yeah. It's more fun. Last was the beehive. <laughs> Welcome to the beehive. That's really? fun. Yeah, that is fun. Particularly since I kept using like biatch. Oh, you know, yes. very important biatch or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, beehive. B-I-B. So Latrice, I guess, was our, our main host. Welcome to Club Hive, darling. Yeah! She was the mother bee. What was it? Queen bee. She was the queen bee. The, I'm sorry, what? The, the mother bee. bee. I don't know. I mean, technically, but that is true. I like that, um, that Latrice, when they were brainstorming, was like, oh, and I have a great beehive wig, so I'm in. Yeah. I have a fabulous beehive update. See? I mean, it just, it, it, it's like perfect. <laughs> okay. But it was great. It was great. Well, she looked like Motorbop Mabel from Hairspray, you know? Yes. Latrice nailed this episode, I feel like. Yeah. Especially in the looks department. Oh. Oh, yes. But it seemed like also her charisma and like, the personality and things where Latrice really thrives, especially when you see her live, where yes. you're just like captivated by her mm -hmm. or like you welcomed in, it seemed to really work for everyone. Exactly. Manila, on the other hand, I felt like was a little trying too hard, she maybe? She was like trying really hard and she was really putting on a caricature. Yes. Where like Latrice and Trinity were kind of just being themselves. Yes. Like fun them. Uh huh. And Manila was like, I will do an entire character right. of the bee pun. It will drive you was crazy. Just, it was just like too much. It was. The bee puns just never end. It's not time to crazy. Latrice and Trinity genuinely seem perturbed. <laughs> like they can be like, that was, that was the biggest part about it, was right. like where Monique and Monet really had a good rapport with each other. Latrice and, and Trinity were like, leave us alone though. Like, shh. Yeah. But like, had they really played it up and been like, ha 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 like laughed at her jokes and like yes. made it fun, it would have been less awkward. She's just really, really allergic to beat. She loves it and so will you. And Trinity's outfit, this like chevron B fantasy with this like hat with a huge fucking long feathers and like they were like pants and a skirt or tights it's like tights and a skirt with like built it it was a lot but i was interested. it was a lot but it worked i was like what is this i yeah. didn't know about the purple hair I wasn't mm. obsessed with it i loved the hat yeah <laughs> It, it was like, like a Troop Beverly Hills hat. It was. It was very Troop Beverly Hills. The whole thing. The whole outfit. With the yes. big, because it had yes. like, this like wide caged hips on yeah. it and everything. Yeah. It felt sort of like if Cruella Deville like really got into bees. <laughs> you know, like yeah. she moved on from Dalmatians yeah. to bees. Yes, and it was I just love like, it. This is my look now. Mm -hmm. And then Manila's, I didn't really like. 
sort of had like a mod 60s like color blocking thing going on, but then just like a big bow on her crotch. And then when you see the wide shot, it's just a bodysuit. And she's got like, instead of bare arms, like bee arms, like right. a bee shrug. Yes. Like, it wasn't her best. Well, and then I thought their show, what are they calling it? Like the walk off, whatever. Oh, their spelling bee? I thought theirs was the f most fun and memorable. Absolutely. Absolutely. Obviously. So they do the strip spelling bee. It's like, oh, spell honey. Great, you nailed it. Oh, let's get this beefy guy up here. Okay, let's see. Your word is erythromycin. <laughs> Just like, A, no, nope. take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. No. Loved it. Can you use in a sentence? <laughs> After you leave this evening with Carson, you're gonna need to go to the clinic tomorrow and get you some erythromycin. <laughs> Well, and I think Carson said in the judging too, like this is absolutely like where Trinity is the best, where she's shady, yes, but in such a fun, loving way that yeah. it's not mean at no. all. Like it's like the you have to like it, you laugh at her being shady to you. That's the best. Yeah, I thought this was really funny. I did too. And then I mean, this was so like surreal and weird, and obviously they had a budget for these bees. I mean, like for oh, the digital for bees. The digital the <laughs> And now it's time to release the bees! Or whatever. Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! No! Ah! You know, it was just like, it's so absurd. Yeah, that was funny. Although their drink, so their drink looks good. Oh, like the it, honey. It seemed like it, it was the one I'd want to drink. The Absolutely. Most. It's made with honey infused vodka. It's got a little bit of hornet venom. And it's in a martini glass rimmed with bee pollen. Bee pollen on the rim. I don't know, I thought it sounded... It sounded nice. Yeah. But then uh, Manila's joke about Latrice seemed weird. It's her favorite. Latrice Morel is actually only 120 pounds. She's just really, really allergic to bees. It was a long walk. It was, and it was just like, well, I don't think we need to make a joke about Latrice's weight. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. Like, when I thought, like, why not go somewhere like, like, ooh, like, psychedelic hornet's venom, you right. know? Like, or, like, it'll give you Kylie Jenner's lips, you know? Sure, like, exactly, like, exactly, lip exactly. Lip that's, plumper. Exactly, that's what I was thinking, too. Remember when they used to, they, they would sell, like, Lip plumper. Yes. Like with venom in it. It was. It was like, yes. It would be very tingly and weird. Yeah. I, you know, the 90s. The 90s, man. Glossy, sticky, your hair is stuck <laughs> to your lips. Yeah. And they're plumped and you smell like vanilla. So another quick commercial break and then we'll be back with Plastique Fantastique. Ha ha. Ha ha. Les poissons, les poissons. <laughs> The two fishies, I cut them in two. <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back. I always used to love hee hee hee. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so Rue comes down the runway. This was bizarre. It was so weird. So the dress is just like a blue sort of animal print, you know, like cheetah. But like kind of pixelated cheetah. Yeah, I mean, it was like sequin, like the dress itself, you're like, oh, that's kind of cool, okay. Yeah. But then you're like, okay, but you have a detached sleeve. Yep. An but asymmetric sleeve. you also sleeve. have a bare arm. Uh-huh. Well, well, it seems like you also have another detached a sleeve, sleeve. with a, with a, a bare arm. With a bare arm attached yeah. to it. I mean, it she was, borrowed it from Shangela. Yeah, I don't know. They've got joint custody on the bare arms. <laughs> I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> it was weird. Why? Just cut both of the sleeves off. Just cut them both off. Tear them off. It was so bizarre. And then... Well, her eye, oh my God. So like, she's got <laughs> crazy, I don't know what that happened. Her eyebrows are so far apart and so arched. She looks completely surprised at everything, but also they're like tiny. <laughs> and like nude-ish, so it like they- very weird. I don't it know what happened. wacky in the right? whole episode. <sighs> it was an off week. Yeah. It's weird. Oof. Maybe Billy B did it. Oh boy. And the guest judges are Rita Ora. You know who Rita Ora is? Yes. Okay. She, she's in Fifty Shades of Grey. Is she really? Or the second one. She's the sister that gets kidnapped. Oh, <gasps> really? Yeah. That's so funny. Isn't that weird? Yeah, that is weird. And then I think she has like a song on the soundtrack, probably. That makes sense. And Suzanne Barsh. Yeah. Barsh. S-C-H. Barsh. 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 Suzanne Barsh. This is the front. This is the back. And Suzanne Barsh. No, there's no T at the end. <laughs> and Suzanne... You're, you're gounding it. <laughs> and Suzanne Barsh. 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 Suzanne Barsh. This is the front. This is the back. Barsh. Yeah! <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs>
these pearled, like black pearl eyebrows. Loved it. She <laughs> is fabulous. Love her. Mm -hmm. Also, she seems like she's 32. I don't know what deal with what devil she made, but Oh my like, God. When Rue was like, when I was discovered by, I was like, what? She's gotta be what? 50, 60 years old? Well, yeah, at least. I mean, I guess she could have. I guess been she could have been young, younger than Rue at the time, but or the still, same age. But still. but still, she looks fabulous. <laughs> yes. When are they gonna get Tina Turner to be a guest judge? Yes. Right. Yes. Have a Tina Turner. <gasps> that should be that should be a finale theme. Tina Lip Turner sync. songs. Yes, love it. Or they could do like a for like the first episode where they you know, like where it was like oh Lady Gaga came in to talk to you guys oh, oh right. Christina Aguilera or whatever like have Tina Turner come in and be like. Yes. Like, give me Cher, still. Sure. Give me Liza. Give, give me, me Bet. Give me Diana Ross. Uh, yeah. Where did you see her perform at the Grammys? No. It was like Bibi Zahara when was there. Oh my god. She was wearing the red dress, like, with the tool everywhere and just like, everyone say love. She is amazing. Oh, oh, she was fabulous. I mean, when, when I saw her at the bowl and it was just like, she would come in in these huge fuck off outfits and it would always with like a shrug. Oh yeah. And then she would just toss the shrug off and leave it as roadkill on the side of the stage until someone like came on and like sneakily <laughs> tracked it away. And she just kind of like, it was amazing. She, I mean. So the runway. Plastique fantastique. No one went French with it. I was just having a moment. No one did go French with it. It was not really fantastic. It was just plastic fantastic. Right. Ooh. Now give me some like aqua Barbie girl. Ooh. I mean, that's what Valentina kind of was yeah. going for. Yeah. Well, she was like more Barbie than right. aqua, but yes. Well, and isn't that a Jefferson Airplane song? Plastic, plastic fantastic. Maybe. Maybe. Give me some Grace Slick realness. Mm -hmm. Yes. But that didn't happen. So first on the runway is Latrice motherfucking Royale. That's I think the best right. we've ever seen her. Ever. Although I do, there were a couple gowns that we've seen, but still, this was amazing. Well, this was this perfect was what I wanted from Latrice from All Stars. An outside of the box, amazing. Just, I mean, I it, it turned the corner and I was like, ah, what's happening? <laughs> In this like melted Barney, you know, like melted ice cream Barney fantasy with like this boba tea ponytail. And I was just like, oh my God. Yeah. And she snatched. Oh my God. And just. I, the lips and the this, and, and she looked great. I loved, I loved fucking, it. The fucking eyelashes. Oh my God, the eyelashes out for date. Like they were foot long eyelashes. Like, it was, it was reminiscent of a Moni cart. It was. Well, it had the, because the eyes. The and eyes and the sort of puppet, muppet yep. of it. Yes, yes. That was fucking great. Yeah. It also had just like an over the top club kid of this of it all. Yeah, you know what I mean? like yeah, which really worked with the club aspect of the previous yeah, like, of the, of just, the challenge. It was over the top and ridiculous and insane, and I was just like, yes. yes. This episode was like a nice like, okay, you won, you did great, you showed us the Latrice that we love, you slayed that runway, like yes. Next on the runway is Manila Luzon and this like Carmen Miranda. Fruit basket. You edible know, arrangement. Edible arrangement realness. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was like a, there was like a picnic basket yeah. on her head. Yeah. And then it was all that cellophane. Had she had like found a way to incorporate like colored cellophane? Oh. You know, even if it was one other color, like clear and red or whatever. I like that. It would have given it more shape. It looked a little just messy. A like little. it wasn't tapered and tailored just so. Sure. Because it was all colored one, you Because it was all clear. All clear. Yeah. I would have liked that. Just like a few little ribbon, like a highlight of color yeah. here or and like there. Yeah, or like underneath. Like it would exactly. show a little bit yes. through the clear, yes. you know, or just on the top so you get a little shape on the bottom. Maybe like a little kind of, there's like an underline of color that Something. gives it like a nice hourglass shape. Yeah. But then there's the clear everywhere that fills it all in. Yeah. It, it just could just, Ever so, it could have made it a little more interesting. I like that. But I liked it a lot. Her wig, she's got, I mean, she looks like Chi Chi, you know, she looks like John Leguizamo from Too Long Fu at the end, you know, with like the little like, curl. The wig was great. Front. Loved it. Yeah, glittery and fabulous. I like this a lot. I just think it, it could have been, she's been like so beyond perfectly fantastic. Yes. That it was like at 90% instead of 100. And the next is Trinity the Tuck coming out with this like pink, it looked like a splattered gumball. She looked like some sort of like, asteroid or meteorite or something there sure. just had a lot of like movement even though it was yes. stiff you know yes, it, it had a lot of like, careening through the air and she was going to be some like fabulously like 
gay asteroid that like, you know, Earth girls are easy or something. It's just like, <laughs> yes, here I am. And it's like grapefruit pink wig. It's just like, I don't know. I thought this was really cool. I it liked was. It. I agree. It was memorable yeah. and unique and exciting and fun. The palette was fun. I, I liked it a lot. I did too. So the next on the runway was Naomi Smalls. And I didn't love this. Sort of this like saucer dress. You know, it was like yeah. a bunch of like plastic saucers. Discs. All yeah. sort of, again, this chainmail kind of right. vibe or whatever. Yes. It was really reminding me of her like tennis look from her season, you know, with that oh, yeah. yellow hair. Well, and the sort of... hair. <sighs> I, Michelle later is like, oh, I loved all these colors together. And I was like, I. She's like, I like how the didn't... contrasting colors or whatever. And I was like, they clashed maybe, and they're hideous. Maybe in person it was better. Maybe. But it was this like vitamin piss yellow wig, you know, and then. And then the shrug. The matching, matched. again. Bear arm, like this yellow bear. Maybe if it had been more like shag the shrug. Sure. It giving me a little bit more like 60s. Maybe right. if it was orange. Yeah. Like real Austin Powers 60s mm -hmm. orange and then with these discs. And then you could have gotten like, maybe like a short bob or something. Something. Like Janice the Muppet hair. Like Ooh. stringy, like yes. like one of those curtains, you know, those like bead curtains you walk through, but it's your wig. Yes. Yeah. That would have been kind of fun. Plastic beads. It would have been like plastic wig. Like plastic fantastic. That would have been silly. That would have been silly. And fun. Yeah. And, and like kind of tied into the 90s-ness of it all. Get that like Delia's catalog with like the, you know, yeah. the bead, you know, the plastic bead yeah. curtain that you gotta yeah. have in your room. Oh my god, remember that? Remember that? They are always tangled. Yes! Always. I would, my sister had one and I would detangle it because I'm OCD. Yeah, I didn't get one because I knew it would tangle and I didn't want that. Yeah. For me. There you go. For my story, for my fantasy. <laughs> So the next was Valentina. It's me. Va Wait. Miss Venezuela. Are you sure you didn't already do this? It was Miss Colombia. Oh, with that crown? No. No. <laughs> no, I was Miss Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same crown, correct? No. I loved it. I just loved Rue's reaction. <laughs> It was such a weird conversation. <laughs> it really was. I was like, why did they leave this in? I mean, I like it, but it seems like a weird thing to leave in. I mean, yes and no. I guess they just thought it was hilarious that Michelle was like, didn't we already see this? Yeah. And, I mean, the funny thing is that it's kind of true. I mean, they, they were both wearing the sash. Right, like, it was whatever. like a miss, whatever. I think she would have been just as successful with this look had she just gone full Barbie. I agree. Like, I didn't need the veil, uh, veil the, sash. the sash and the crown. And Although whatever. I did love this rhinestone sash. Yeah, it was actually pretty fabulous. I like when Valentina goes weird. Yes. You know, because it's interesting. She comes out in this plastic blue little dress. Her crotch is just out. It's just out. And that was what I... I, I like, she's doing a, a Barbie crotch, right? I mean, that was the, that was the point. Ish. That's what she was attempting. Attempting. But it didn't make sense to me that it was just out. I was like, do that, but then have the skirt so short that it's just almost showing. And exactly. Then, Oops, I flashed you. Oh, I'm a Barbie. Well, especially because like the dress was so stiff, and she does like kind of that like I'm a Barbie robot, mm -hmm. you know, thing. If she had just leaned back, if she'd done like a pulled like a Naomi Smalls, right, and like leaned back, then her Barbie crotch would have been out. And if it was actually like really pert, like maybe you pat it, right. So it's just right. like this like weird smooth. But maybe you paint, you know, the joint. Yes. Yeah. You kind of you airbrush on like give me like a little joint where it's like why is that? Oh, because she's a bar. Like she's lit. Like I yeah. can see where that that would have been better. Mm -hmm. It was just not the execution wasn't. It was quite, like vulgar. I mean, I wasn't like offended. No. But I was like, no one's wearing that dress without like leggings. I don't know. It just well, and like weird. a Barbie wouldn't have that dress. No, Barbie's classy. Of course. This like fortress of solitude crown mm. on her head, and was really playing it up. I mean, the makeup was perfect. She's got these glittering Sasha Velour lips yes. on. Maybe had the hair been plastic too? I don't know. It was like 90% for me. I was like, I love this idea. Yeah. Something just didn't fully click. So the next on the runway is Monet Exchange in this sort of like galactic battle gladiator lady look. I didn't love this. I thought it was okay. If this had been earlier on in the season, maybe mm -hmm. I would have been more forgiving. But if it's like at this point, I'm like, you gotta bring it or yeah. I'm gonna be disappointed. 
I just didn't love it. I don't know, like, you could really see her brown bodysuit under it, which, because it was clear, which really didn't match her tights. Yep. And then she has, like, shin guards on. Yeah. But they're, but then heels. Right, they weren't So, like, boots. it's not practical. No. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, in my, in the, in the narrative you're telling me, right? I'm like, so your shins need protecting because... You know, and we had, we had kind of brainstormed, like, what if she was in, like, rollerblades or something silly, and then she was like, oh, I'm, like, a rollerblading, like, like, right. Xanadu, you know, like, galactic, whatever, like, that's at least something silly and an idea. Where sure. This was, like, the, the shoes with the, with the shin guards and the half an armor, but the other, I don't know, I just was like, yeah. Last was Monique Hart, and I got what she was going for. I liked this more than everyone else. This sort of like psychedelic Josephine Baker. This is like if you're looking at Josephine Baker on acid, this is what you're saying, you know, where it's like everything's 2D for some reason. And I'm, you know, what's <laughs> happening and it's all glowing and oh my God, you know, sort of like a bad acid trip, Josephine sure. Baker or sure. whatever. Sure, sure. And the finger waves and like, I don't know, I like this a lot more than everyone else did. I liked a lot of aspects of it. I think for me, similar to Monet, mm. the, the colors of the body garment yeah, it was... And on one hand, I feel bad because I'm like, maybe it's just all that they could find. Right. But then maybe you just do some sort... Like, maybe if she'd worn a breastplate then and just yeah. it was like real... Like, real slutty Give me big it. titty. And had she had more of an ass. Sure. And that, that would make the sort of banana skirt have more of a shape. Yeah. Something didn't click again. I was like... Right. I didn't love it, but I was like, no, I'm kind of here for this. It was at least more whimsical and fun and yeah. unique. Yeah. I had more fun with this one. I, mean, I didn't think she looked bad. I didn't think anyone really looked bad, to no, be honest. No it was one not a best. terrible runway, but it wasn't the best, except for Latrice. <laughs> I want to go to that club. Oh my god, yes. So Trinity and Latrice are in the top. Yes. Poor Manila, but I guess they had to pick two to lip sync. Well, and Manila... Like, I don't think... Maybe we didn't see it, but I don't think Manila got enough credit for, like, designing mm -hmm. the whole thing. Agreed. And that wasn't as heavily factored in. Yeah. It was more about the hosting. Exactly. They did do a better job hosting. Agreed. And Which, that's... to be fair, I think is probably what should count more. Sure. It would have been nice if they had, especially Latrice. Latrice seemed to kind of forsake Manila this episode. A Maybe because bit. Manila was coming on so strong. Maybe it was because Manila was like, not condescending, but it was almost she just like... She was really like hanging on, like literally like hanging on her. Yeah. Like, Latrice, Latrice, yes. oh my god, Latrice is back. Latrice. Yeah. She was like a busy yeah. little bee, like... Yeah. Da, 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 da. Plus, plus we got Latrice Royale on our oh team. Oh my god, Latrice, Latrice. And was, I think Latrice was like, girl, I need to like focus up. <laughs> exactly. Well, and then also though, it was kind of like, I mean, I guess this was in the confessional, but who knows how much of it was coming across where she was like, well, I have to like make sure that my friend Latrice is not in the bottom again. Right. And it's like, well, maybe you just focus on you and hope that Latrice is as fabulous she as should, we all know she is. She should save herself. Yeah. And win and, yeah. be, you know. Yeah. But she steps her own pussy up. You can't do it for her. Um, and I think they were doing teams. Like, Monet and Monique's runways were both fine. Yes. And so I think that put them over the top. And Trinity and, and Latrice got to be in the top. I agree. I agree. And Naomi and Valentina are in the bottom. Yeah. Uh, right, I think that so. was the I think it was correct. the right choice. Yeah. So they go back. I don't know what to talk about. Valentina's emotions are really starting to come out. Like, she's like, mm. there's like a push pull of like, oh god, I want to cry because I'm pretty sure I'm going home, but also like, my fantasy, I have to keep up the facade. Oh my god, I have to keep up the facade or else it's all going to be crashing down. This was a nice moment with Latrice. Yeah. It was interesting to see how close they've gotten, I'm sure, from all of their tours and whatnot. Yeah. Latrice, I am fighting so hot right now. I'm taking a mess. Okay. Mommy. Look. Mommy. I'm look. here. I'm here. Look. She's being a mama bear, you know? Exactly. It's like, okay, look, girl, it's okay to show emotion. Yeah. And you're fabulous and amazing. Yeah. I keep doing what you're doing and... And I will send you home now. How much of the fantasy can I believe when reality is hitting me in the face? I fast forwarded through a lot of this. It didn't matter. I don't care. <laughs> Like, at least show more of the safe queens being, being silly. silly. Yes. If you have to have them decide, well, fine. But, like, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So, blah, blah, blah. I might oh, send you yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Oh, I'm sad. You're great. I don't... We're friends. <sighs> and they both change. Oh, no. I mean... So, I mean... Okay. So, <laughs> paused it. And I was, I was like, 
I genuinely have no idea what this song is gonna be. What the fuck? Because Trinity is dressed like Hugh Hefner. Yep. She's got a cheetah robot. There's like weird, you know, like, oh good, I brought my emaciated body skeleton, skeleton body, body suit. suit. What's what the fuck is going on? She's got a cane and glasses, and I'm like, what the fuck? And then I look at Latrice and I'm going, and she's in like another color guard outfit, green and gold, yeah. sort of snaky. Not a fan. Bodysuit, she's wearing those fucking ankle boots again. Unless you have a bustle and a Hello Dolly hat, I don't want to see those shoes. <laughs> That's pretty fair. I don't want to see them. I'm looking at this going, what in the holy hell could this lip sync be? Yep. And then they pick lipsticks for a while, I fast forward through, I'll be honest. Yep. Because <laughs> I do not care. Nope. We're at that point, we're over it. Time to lip sync for your legacy and da 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 da. And I'm like, at bated breath, like, yeah. what is it gonna be? And then it's, you spin me right round by dead or alive. And I was like, oh. Yep. Because she's old. So she could, well. Dead or alive. Oh. Well, and then she, she tried to spin, spin the boobs. My tits. Kind of loved it. Wasn't, wasn't hating it because it was wacky and surprising yeah and i was happy that trinity was like i'm doing something different i'm not just wearing a gown sure oh boy was it weird i think if she had been able if she'd practiced if she had, more and if she'd been able to really get the you spin me right around and they're just like propellering yeah you know she couldn't then she had to kind of hand do it at some point it, which Literally. was really sad and pathetic but, so, but also then also really silly very funny <laughs> So she's in this robe and it looks like she's like a hunchback and she's like, like she's gonna give birth to, I don't know, an alien or something. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know where this was going, right? And she's got little, little like dance, like ballet slippers on and her walker and I was just like, what the fuck is going on? So then, oh my God, she takes it off and she's got these droopy tits with the little, little pasties, glittery pasties and she's, and like tiny whities up to her navel. And I was just, it was just so weird. It was so weird. And I kind of loved it. I was honestly surprised she didn't win. A little bit. I... Because, like, Latrice was doing... I mean, this lip sync song... Is bad. This is a bad song because it's just the same lyric over and over. Yep. And so, sure, you can have a gimmick of I'm spinning my tits, but, like, at a certain point... We get over that pretty quickly. And so Latrice was... Doing Rolling on the fun. floor? Well, like, she kind of, like, lays down. Yeah. Like casually, like yeah. it was like, I'm gonna just like, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> she kind of just like, yeah. and then like does a couple barrel rolls, kind of, like they were pretty slow, and then got back up, and they cut to Monique's confessional, and she was like, oh my oh, god, yeah. I'm losing my mind. And I was, I was like, like, really? I don't know, maybe we have to be there. When the tree starts to roll on the floor, bitch, I lose my mind. I'm not sure. I don't know, I mean, because she was wearing this outfit, and I was like, oh good. Latrice is ready to move. Right. She's gonna. She did not move as much as last splits week. Splits and some high kick. Nope. Mm -mm. It was a weird lip sync. Wasn't a fan. I mean, I I was a fan of Trinity. It w I, yes and and no. Yes. And no. Yes and no. No. I'm saying no. But I'm leaning towards yes. Then you're saying yes. No. It was just weird. That's why I like. Of course, I get it, I get that. it, but like, I want it to be weird for a reason. It wasn't like Alaska level, you nailed right. this perfectly, this is amazing. But I was like, I'm here for you shooting for the star. Sure. Of wackiness. Yes. Keep me guessing. I think if she'd you. really gotten Keep me guessing. the propeller. She really needed to get the propeller tits down. Yeah. What was that meat spin? Remember meat spin? No. Meat Spin was a website. It might still be M E E T. M E A T. Okay. Uh, that like people would always leave. It was when I was in college, so like 2000, whatever. People would like leave it on people's computer, and basically it was just a like a GIF or whatever of a guy like spinning his dick. Oh. So it was like a, a dick like propeller ring. Sure. And it would just keep going, and then there'd be a counter at the bottom of like how many times it spun around, mm. and it'd be like oh like. It was, went 400 times. It was a stupid thing in the, okay. you know, early internet. Pre-Tumblr, um, no female presenting nipple. Of course. This was, this was like pre-broadband, basically. <laughs> <laughs> no, when, when, when Trinity took off her robe, it looked like, have you ever seen like Carol Burnett in the weird like undergarments that Bob Mackie made her for the show? Like it's like weird sandbag tits and like, it's like very amazing. It's even more amazing that you're like, 
Well, Mac, you designed this. Since we're not on in the family hour, <laughs> you can see this. <laughs> Giving me some of that. Oh. I just thought this was so weird. Um, I, I genuinely thought Trinity should have won. Yeah, I was a little confused when Rue was like, Latrice Royale, you're a winner, baby. Yeah. And I was like, okay, um, whatever. Yeah, sure. So Latrice wins and cries a lot yep. about Al. I didn't know it would be this hard. Uh, I'll okay. be honest, I fast forward through it. I don't know if it's going like, I don't know if it's going hard. If anyone knows how it feels to feel like a dream has been stripped from you with me, I think I had an opportunity to come back and fight. <laughs> I don't care. She Maybe they that. should just do it like Survivor style and like the whole group votes or something. Well, that's, I mean, I, I don't mind. They're, Even that, I don't really no. want to do it. I don't want Big Brother Drag Race All-Stars. That's no. the thing. That's yeah. what they're trying to do. And it's like, I don't want that. No. Particularly because of reasons like next week where it's like, I don't want this bullshit nonsense. And I really miss having them have... We'll talk about this morning. Camaraderie. But, well, between. beyond the camaraderie and having fun backstage. Fun. Much more fun to watch for us. But also, I miss having them have a chance to, to like, really... save themselves. Exactly. The, like, the lip sync for your life is perfection. Yes. It is the best part about the show. It's amazing because it, it's like, okay, you fucked up this week. Yeah. Maybe you didn't have this thing or this thing went whatever wrong or it whatever was. it was. I don't care. You have another opportunity to, fuck to fucking slay. show me what you like. Yeah, show, show me what, what you can do. Yeah, and that's so amazing. That it's the best device that's like other reality, reality show. show. Yeah, so don't fuck with it. Why? It angers me so much. But alas, here we are. Valentina gets sent home. Yes, I get it. Yeah, you know, if she was gonna get sent home two weeks ago. I don't know why she couldn't have just... Blah, blah. But then we wouldn't have had her French vanilla fan to see. Yes, yes, love it. She yeah. was silly and fun. I mean, she is. I love I was, it. I was happy with, with Valentina's performance. Valentina has had a with, great run on All Stars. With her performance. Oh my god, yeah. With her performance. <laughs> <laughs> so then Valentina... Valentina walks back in the image of smooth vag Barbie <laughs> hugging, you know, Hugh Hefner, you know, like, saggy-titted, you know... Trinity was just, re I really liked it. it was re I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh. Explain this to a straight guy. Yeah, like, well, well, well. Dissect this for me, please. Yeah. Just let it be known, the bitch left with a crown. The bitch let it be known, she left with a crown. Well, and then when she's like, right, you know, right, you know, she's like, ugh. Oh, I, I have to pack, and she's just like, I mean, I'm upset that I lost, but I can't believe I'm gonna pack up all this shit. There's so much shit to pack. <laughs> Honestly, the saddest and darkest part is having to pack up all my shit, girl. That's gonna be the hardest part. It's so much shit. I like Valentina. I like Valentina a lot. Yeah. She also, she she fully redeemed herself, I think, from Masky, you know? From Masky. Yes, she did. Like, we, I, I think everyone has moved on. Which is nice. I mean, I loved masking. I mean, it was hilarious. I mean, I, I wasn't like, oh, I'm so disappointed in you. I was just like, what this? <laughs> I'd like this is the craziest you. thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a lip sync for your life. We need to see your lips. Like, I mean, iconic. What don't you understand about that? Um, so anyway, I thought this was a really good episode. It was. I, I love hope, this challenge. I hope they bring this challenge back. Yeah. Or challenges like it. Yeah. What I loved about this challenge too was that not only was it a creative challenge where they had to like literally make things, but it was uh, for a purpose. Yes. You know, where it's like, oh, and you have to decorate this boat shoulder float thing. You're like, okay, but what? My boat is the best. My boat is pretty. Whereas this is like, oh, these are practical skills. Practical skills. Yeah. Love it. Cheers to this week. I won't cheers to next week.